Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how to use hydrogen peroxide as a soil drench for your seed starts to help manage fungal problems, molds, and fungus gnats or other insects. Now I'm going to do this as an experiment. I'm going to take you through the experiment to see how I came up with the ratio of water to hydrogen peroxide. This is a 3% solution. Make sure if you're going to do this it says 3%. And let me just get right to the experiment and then I will talk with you at the end of the video how to use this for fungus gnats and how to use it for other problems. So here's the start of the experiment using H2O2 with the 3% solution that you can buy at your grocery store at a pharmacy. Again, 3% solution. These are my tomato plants. They're experimental plants. It's too early to start tomatoes in my area except for an experiment. So what we're doing is we're doing a one-to-one -one ratio of H2O2 to water, hydrogen peroxide to water, a 2 to 1 ratio, uh, two parts water, one, per, one part hydrogen peroxide, and this is going to be straight hydrogen peroxide. It's 7.30. I'm going to check on, this, on these plants in 24 hours, see how they do, and they're absorbing everything from the bottom. I know from my other videos that if I use a concentration like this, on the leaves that it would damage the leaves. What I want to see is if a higher concentration damages the root systems at a one-to-one -one ratio, equal parts, a two-to-one ratio, two parts water, one part hydrogen peroxide, and this is just straight hydrogen peroxide. And you can see, I think, like right in there, you can see it bubbling. That's the hydrogen peroxide going to work. It's getting absorbed into the starting mix from the bottom. This should kill off any kind of funguses, fungi, any disease problems, um, and it should also take care of fungus net eggs. Now, the whole goal is to figure out the right ratio that you can treat your starting mix soil, but not, not damage your plant. So we're starting with this today. Um, you can just see it bubbling down there, and that's what H2O2 does. Is it, it breaks down, it turns into oxygen and water, but that release of the oxygen creates energy. That energy um, is oxidizing and it basically, you know, lack of better terms, cleans your soil, kills out the problems. We just want to make sure it doesn't damage the root systems. So it's been 24 hours since the plants were put in the water and hydrogen peroxide solution. They are all started at the same time, came out of the same flat. No hydrogen peroxide here. This will be our comparative plant that we'll use as the baseline. This was straight hydrogen peroxide. This was a 1 to 1 ratio, water to hydrogen peroxide, and this was a 2 to 1 ratio, 2 cups water to 1 cup hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to let this go for a couple of days. We're going to look to see if there's any damage showing, which would really be yellowing leaves. Um, but the whole idea is to figure out what is the right ratio, or what is the right range of ratios, to put hydrogen peroxide into your water so that when you bottom water your plants you can address fungal problems, disease problems, and fungus gnats that are in the soil. So let's you know wait another 24 hours see how they look. Oh one more tip because hydrogen peroxide reacts with light when you first set this up or if you're going to do the experiment or when we get to the point that we figure out a ratio that works put these sort of in a shady area in your house don't let light react with it and just let the water and hydrogen peroxide be absorbed into the plant. Don't put them under your grow lights because H2O2 reacts with light. Just keep them in a place where they can be absorbed and do their thing in the soil. So it's now been 48 hours since the experiment started. This is the baseline plant. No H2O was added there. This was just 3% hydrogen peroxide. This was a 1 to 1 ratio one cup water to one cup hydrogen peroxide and this was a two to one ratio two cups of water to one cup hydrogen peroxide the plants look essentially the same I'm going to actually uh, water the peppers and then tomorrow we're going to give these a light feeding with probably something close to a 111 NP and K but they will all get the fertilizer together so this is now 72 hours again this is the one that is just the baseline no H2O2 hydrogen peroxide added to that this was just hydrogen peroxide, a 3% solution, a 1 to 1 ratio, water to H2O2, and then 2 parts water to 1 part hydrogen peroxide. Not much change across all four of them. The plants over here are a little bit of a different color, and that might just be because these were out of the light for a while. Overall, looks like 
3% solution doesn't do a lot of damage to the plants. I'm going to feed this tomorrow morning. I'll show you how I do that. And I want to still give this five days with a liquid feed, and then we'll move on from there. All right, so I showed you the first 72 hours of the different ratios of H2O2, hydrogen peroxide, in there. And again, remember, I'm using a 3% solution. That's really important. Uh, yesterday was the fourth day. I didn't do a video on that, but I fed them with a water-soluble fertilizer uh, well below a 555 NP and K, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Just wanted to see if any fertilizer would react with um, the H2O2 that may still be in the soil. My suspicion is, is the uh, hydrogen peroxide is broken down by now. But I just wanted to see if that would matter because we're going to be feeding the plants. Looks like they are doing perfectly fine now in the fifth day. So we are um, 120 hours from the initial experiment with a feeding of water-soluble fertilizer. I'll let these go two more days and then we'll talk about what might be the right ratio to treat your soil. So now we're at day six, about 144 hours since the experiment started. You already know what these are. And I've thinned them out. They were fed 48 hours ago with a very dilute human-made chemical fertilizer. I wanted to give these the full run of what we might be doing to them as we're raising our seedlings. And you can see, this is interesting, the 3% just hydrogen peroxide. Some of the tomatoes are beginning to wilt. I thinned out all of them so they can grow more normally. But they're beginning to yellow here, here, and this one's beginning to wilt. And in the one-to-one -one ratio, one cup water, one cup 3% hydrogen peroxide, this one's starting to yellow and wilt too. The two-to-one looks perfectly fine. That looks like that will be the maximum maybe strength and stick with me for a couple more days. We'll figure out what is the starting ratio to cleanse your seed starting mix using hydrogen peroxide with your tomatoes. So we are nine days into the experiment and we're going to stop there and I'll talk to you about the ratio that I would recommend. Uh, at nine days, we lost four plants here with just straight 3% hydrogen peroxide. We had some plants yellow right here. Um, this one actually died back, but it, some of the growth came back. These plants look a little bit weaker. This was a one-to-one -one ratio, one cup water to one cup of hydrogen peroxide. And this was a two-to-one ratio, two cups water, one cup hydrogen peroxide, and the plants look pretty good. There is new growth on here. They look healthy. Two-to-one ratio would be the maximum I would recommend. If maybe you have a big infestation of fungus nets and you just got to take care of them. But I'm going to recommend, <clears throat> excuse me, a four to one ratio, four cups of water to one cup hydrogen peroxide, that's the ratio, for taking care of fungal problems, mold problems, and fungus gnats. Now, I just want to say every fungus, every mold is not a problem. You can have that on your soil. Sometimes it's beneficial. If you're using organic fertilizers, that's okay. That could just be the soil life and nature doing its thing. If you see, you know, fuzz growing on a stem of your plants, that's usually damping off disease. You would want to do a four to one ratio of hydrogen peroxide and try and take care of that. That's a problem. Now for treating fungi and molds, again, I want to stress every mold and fungus you see on the surface isn't necessarily a problem. But if you feel it's a problem, you just need to do this one time. That should take care of the fungus that should take care of the mold and you're not going to have to keep repeating this. These are my different plants. So I just want to show you some things you're going to see. If you look in here, hopefully you can see this green. That is algae. That just comes from your water and the grow light. So when you see something green, that's not something you're going to want to treat with hydrogen peroxide. That's just normal plate old algae growth. So you want to just take a look at your plants see what's going on. If you see anything out of ordinary, that's when you might want to treat the fungus or mold with hydrogen peroxide. Just do it one time and that should take care of it. Now for fungus gnats, if you see them flying around, that's one stage of development. Those are the adults. The adults then land on here, lay eggs, the eggs hatch, the larvae crawl into here, they feed on the roots. The H2O2 is going to be absorbed into here and it's going to disrupt the life cycle by killing off the larva. So you'll use this, but you're going to have to wait several days to see if you're getting the fungus gnats under control. So I recommend also putting up, you know, the yellow fly traps, uh, apple cider vinegar, trying to catch the adults that are flying around while you're treating the bottom with the hydrogen peroxide. You're disrupting their life cycle. 
And to treat them, I would do a four to one ratio. Let it go for three days. If it looks like they're getting under control, let it be. If not, give them another dose, four to one ratio, H2O2, or I'm sorry, of water to hydrogen peroxide. Just make sure the higher number, the four, is water. The lower number is hydrogen peroxide. And when you go to the store, just double check. I don't know if you can see that, but it says 3%. This was all done with 3% hydrogen peroxide. Now, we did it with tomatoes. I feel comfortable enough to use it with peppers and other plants. But if you want to, you know, kind of use um, what I always say. Don't trust my videos. Don't trust the videos you see. Don't trust what you read. Test it out. So we've done enough experimenting. No, a 2 to 1 to 4 to 1 ratio isn't going to harm tomatoes. But you might want to test out your peppers. So just get a container like this. Create the ratio. Drop it in there. Put your new variety of plant in there. Let it go for four or five days. See if there's any damage. That's the wisest way to proceed. Hope you enjoyed the video. This gives you an idea of how you can use hydrogen peroxide as a soil drench, essentially, to help combat insects, fungus gnats, fungal diseases, molds, and other problems. Thanks for watching. Please check out my uh, seed shop at www.therustedgarden.com. Thanks for watching.